All right, guys. So this is how I'm gonna do the. This is how I do my cart bait. This is just one cup of all-purpose flour, and it's gonna be about a quarter cup. About a quarter cup of. Uh, that's a little bit more than a quarter cup, but that's fine. Of uh, corn flour. Put that over there. It's a little more than a quarter cup, but this isn't really a, an exact measurement because, you know, just as long as you're close enough, it's fine because this is a real easy, basic um, base mix for a lot of cart bait that people use. And a little too much, so. And then about a quarter cup of uh, yellow cornmeal. Put that in there. And then just, once you put all the, the flour and everything, just give, just mix it up a little bit. Like I said, this is a real easy, basic base mix, but I'm just going to show you how I make it because I know there's going to be a lot of people asking how, what I put in it and everything, and it's not much different from all the other stuff y'all see, because y'all can make y'all's own, y'all can just come up with whatever y'all want because it's real easy, but it's just for the people who who have like no clue on how to even start off making a a cart bait this is one thing that i do that makes the the kneading of the dough easy to do i think it i think it comes out a little bit better also whenever i do it this way but i right, just get a three quarter cups of uh water Three quarter cup of water and just as soon as it starts boiling just take it off because you don't need it boiling hot hot just a little bit just enough to heat up the dough so you can knead it easier and it comes out better but it's not it's not needed all right once that water gets hot enough just uh this is what i do now to make it red. I use this, uh, this McCormick food coloring. I just leave it outside so it don't make a mess in the house. I just put about half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon in it. This stuff, that stuff's like, you know, a little goes a long way with that. 16 ounce bottle of strawberry extract and you can see the ingredients on there this is alcohol and the strawberry essence and this stuff smells it to me it don't even really smell like strawberry it smells like some kind of alcohol fruit fruit punch like smell and this, you know it has a, has a strong smell to it so I put one tablespoon of this in there one whole tablespoon And then you just pour it in there. And that's what gives it that that red color. Just slowly just, just start steering it. And and the water varies of what you use because like right now I use like three quarter cups of, wa of water and I put a tablespoon of strawberry extract in there and half a tablespoon of uh, of red food coloring so you know if you're not using the the strawberry extract if you're not using a liquid scent or liquid flavor you might have to add a little little bit more water to it but like I said you could you could put whatever you want into this like how this looks looks like i have to add a little bit more water to it 
but y'all use whatever y'all want. This is just the easy base mix. I'll put a little bit more water in this. Just a little bit. See? Y'all want it kind of like a, a Play-Doh type. See, look at that. I added literally like a tablespoon of water. And look how much better that looks. So y'all don't go crazy with the water if it's dry. Just slowly put a little bit of water in it. The more you need it, the the more pliable it gets. But yeah, look at that, it's done. And I'll give y'all another little tip about this. All right guys, like I said, you can use whatever color you want. I always use red, but you can use yellow, whatever, man. And strawberry extract. This stuff's expensive though. So, and you know, you just use whatever you want if you don't want to use strawberry extract, but you know, that stuff isn't cheap. But there's always this imitation vanilla. I think this is like 96 cents for eight ounces. And you know, this stuff, you know, y'all already know what it smells like. This stuff's pretty strong smelling too. Just use whatever, whatever food coloring and whatever scent y'all want. There's uh, pineapple, coconut. To me, it really doesn't make much of a difference, I don't think, but that's just something I got to experiment with. And if you want this, like I used red food coloring. And look, it came out, what, pink? <laughs> Almost hot, it came out like hot pink. And I used a tablespoon of food coloring. So if you want it dark red, like, you know, extremely red, like how I, like the one I was using, I put, <laughs> I think I put three tablespoons of food coloring in that one. But I thank, I thank y'all for watching. And y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And if y'all have any suggestions about, you know, anything else, just put it in the comment box below. And I'll see y'all again next time. Thank y'all.